Right, well, back to our bit of news, and this is regarding the Champions League next year. A trio have been banned. Kamara, Ruth, Kamara, I was saying Middleton there, because <laughs> I've seen Glenn. Um, Glenn, Kamara, and Leon Ball again, bans a big blow, says by Stevie G. Um, yeah, because we've obviously lost Kamara, Ruth. Now, it was appealed the four game. I mean, it was completely accidental what Kamara, he was going for the ball, and, and he connected with the guys cooping, you know? Like, it was rejected by UEFA. I mean, I really... Don't see how that's a four-match ban. I do not. I really don't. You know. Um. I mean, actually, how is he getting a four? How is he getting the biggest four-match ban? Like, like Balogun won, right? Kamara, he attacked him after the game, rightfully so. But you can kind of. I mean, I, I don't agree with it, but you, I, I can kind of see the logic from UEFA, even though I think that. I mean, that guy only getting what I think his ban's been reduced. Kudela, you know, like if, if if they need to be consistent, it was violent conduct, right? But how is Kamar Roof getting four match bans? Like a four match ban? It makes no fucking sense. The UEFA's just pish. They are. They couldn't fucking run hee haw. Only bothers about when teams are trying to form a super league. Couldn't give a fuck about anything else. That's the bottom line here. Um, you know. And it, it's it's going to affect this man because obviously it's a European wide hang, so it's going to be the Champions League hang. And I believe we won at the third round, which means all four games potentially that we could play to get into the group stage, we're going to be without Roof, Balogun, and Kamara. I mean, I guess the good thing about it is you can look at it from a point of Balogun's not really the starting centre back; it is more Hollander and Goldson. With Roof, he has been in and out of the team. And with Kamara, well, I can't really say anything about Kamara. Kamara normally starts, so that is a bit shit. But, you know, there is positives to um to take from it. Yeah, we've already announced uh, Fashion Sakala also. Um, um, yeah, and all four players nominated for the PFA Scotland Union Player of the Year. Tav, McGregor, Davis and Kent. Um, I'd probably give it to Alan McGregor, you know, but I mean, I, I can't really complain what I'll or um, any of the four winning it, to be honest, you know, that's the bottom line. Um, Gerard said, it's too early to say whether Ryan Jack would be available for the Champions League qualifiers, despite reporting that the Scotland midfielder had undergone successful surgery on a knee injury, so that's looking good, obviously, I think it, they were talking about it, it's... It was a recurring injury, and now with this surgery, it's not going to be recurring any longer. It's a shame he's missed it on the Euros, but I guess long term it's better. Um, and uh, yeah, guys, that will do it for this quick fed. I thought I'd make a separate fed on this because it is a pretty big deal for next season. But yes, later on tonight, retro Rangers career mode and also a match preview. So make sure you check out. But until next time, peace.